Greetings and salutations, everyone, and welcome to Let's Play Call of Cthulhu, Dark Corners of the Earth. I'm Camchak Fisco. Come join me for a creepy adventure. I keep wanting to hit shit to sprint, but that's the sneak key. I really don't want to hit that. You guys hear that whispering, right? This one's just me. Okay, there's the police officer that goes back and forth. So we have to sneak past him if we want to get answers back there. Hi, can I help you? I'm looking for Brian Burnham. Sorry, stranger. I can't help you. I'm pretty sure this moves the story forward, so I'm actually going to go talk to the uh, hotel manager. Check in, at least. But I'm pretty damn sure going back there moves the story forward, and we do need to go in there. Well, there's our safe spot. Nothing of interest. A small wooden clock. Let's go ahead and save in case I'm wrong. So we don't end up going to the wrong spot that moves it forward without getting information from the other direction first. So from here on out, I'm going to start using alternating save spots just to make sure we don't make a mistake and obliterate a part of the story that we need to see. Well, howdy, sir. How's it going? Evening. Hi. My name's Jack Walters. I'm just visiting. You don't say, sir. Gilman. Charlie Gilman. I run this here hotel of an evening. You got any rooms? I'd not rightly know that for sure. All habits cleaning rooms at present. Them's from out of town can leave a horrid mess. <laughs> uh huh. What do you mean horrid mess? Talking to this fellow's getting me nowhere. And he's more than a touch creepy. If I need a room and I'm desperate, then I'll come back. Yeah, so yeah, let's, we can't move this forward. Stop your snooping. And there's for hotel staff only. My bad. Can I even go upstairs? Or is he going to fuss about that too? It's locked. Okay, yeah, so we can't really do anything up here. A dusty assortment of old books. These are all locked, right? It won't budge. Yeah. So we can't go anywhere anyway. It won't budge. So let's go ahead and sneak our way into the investigation, shall we? I'm sure there's something informative going on where there's a police officer patrolling, right? What's up? How's it going? Evening, Constable. Personally, I'm busy. No time for fuckers, strangers. I'm Detective Jack Walters. I've been hired by the regional manager of the First National. And I'm Constable Burke, and I'm the law around these parts, and I'm still not talking to you. Now get lost! Friendly guy. This is the place to be still about. Move along! Alright, alright, jeez. But why does everybody stop and stare at me? It's creepy! Wrong with you people. Alright, so we gotta wait till he starts moving on, and then we gotta sneak past him. When we sneak, we move slow as spit. Pretty sure we gotta hide back here until he walks past us, then we need to move down to the next section. So let's go ahead and hide over here in the dark. You know what, I'm actually gonna hide over here, even though it's you would think it'd be more illuminated, just because it gets us closer to getting past here, so... Yeah. I don't think it matters if we're ducking or not, you still have to move, uh... Relatively quietly. I think we want to go in here? I'm not sure. Not sure where the other way goes, actually. Alright, so I'm going to save here. And I also want to go back and check where that other area went once he passes by. It's just a matter of not being seen by him is the tricky part. Well, I do want to go check this door really quick. It won't budge. Alright, so I need to get an angle where I can watch him walk by. Okay. Then we need to hook over here so we can watch him walk by again, where he doesn't have a line of sight on us. I don't know if there's anything back over there, but if we do screw up and we get cornered, we can always load the save game, so we should be fine. Alright, we should be good to go. Uh, that's another place we can hide, so 
I don't know if we can open this door yet or if we have to later. Let's find out. It's unlocked. Okay, so this is a way we can go, but so is the other way. Shut the door behind us. I want to keep sneaking because I don't want to make noise while we're here. Nothing of interest here. Assorted paperwork, but nothing of any real interest. Assort if I want a decent snoop around, I'd better do something to block that door. Oh shit. Okay, so we have to block Dead the door. Door and snooping around here. Get out! Alright, so we're gonna load our quick save because that at least puts us on the other side and we don't have to go through the whole thing again. So I don't know if there's actually anything on that other area, because obviously we're going here, so I'm gonna check out where the save game is, because that's the halfway point. Let's say about the, the delivery door. truck for the Innsmouth courier. Interesting. So we can't get in here. Where does this go? The door's bolted shut. Never mind, we can't get in there. Nothing of interest here. Alright, so that's entirely pointless. We just need to sneak by, is the thing. The window's smashed. I can see what looks like an old dark room. Interesting. Can't do anything with it, though, so we're waiting. So we gotta get in the room and immediately barricade it behind us. So we gotta search fast. Oh, good, I guess right. <laughs> I think I might actually want to hide here and wait till he walks back so I have even more time before he comes all the way back on this patrol. I'm not sure. We're gonna try going here. It's unlocked. Shut the door. And let's barricade These this. These shelves look light enough to push. I wouldn't think he'd know we're in here, but the fact that we're moving this should be making an ungodly racket to let him know we're in here. Alright, that's blocked. So we're in the store. Let's poke around. Can't see anything of use. The till's empty. Well, it was robbed. That makes sense. Looks like the door was forced open, and there's scratch marks on the wood. That's not good. Oh, whoops, that's part of the door. I thought there was something on the ground, too. A typewriter. Invoices and receipts. Nothing of interest. The drawer is empty. Let's grab the wine. There's a bottle of bootleg rum and a wooden handle. At least we have what uh, the guy wanted. Nope, nothing important here. Alright, so nothing over here. Nope, nothing of interest. Oh, shit. I think we have to hide? I'm not sure. Okay, we got a first aid kit. I think we can just hide in here and he'll leave. I don't know if he'll come running straight at us or not. It won't budge. If I'm wrong, this is gonna suck. The glass has been broken, and there's scratch marks on the wood. Strange. Hey, buddy. It won't open. Do we just get caught no matter what? They're doing snooping around here. Get out! Okay, I think we get the caught no matter what. Out there, trying to nope. take evidence we, from the shit. scene. Yep. Hand them over. We have to hide. There's, there's no way around it. We have to hide. We have to hide so he leaves, and then we can sneak back out again. There's no other way around it. I was afraid of that. All right, now we know. Yeah, barricading doors is kind of a big mechanic in this game, so I'm glad they teach it to you pretty early on. Sneak our way past, and full speed. It's unlocked. All right, push the thing in the way. So the first aid kit's actually something we could use to heal, so it's really handy to pick up. All right, well, this is the door handle. That's enough. Close that. Whoop, no, right, I don't have a sprint. Damn it. Notice the... Uh, the store appears to have been doing quite well. On There's a bottle of bootleg rum and a wooden handle. Well, I don't get, no get to notice that again? Looks like the door was forced open. All right. And there's scratch marks on the wood. Good. This time I marked it. I actually noticed it. So sneak, hide. And this time we should be fine, so we're actually hiding. Nope, he comes straight for us. Okay, so I think... Yep, yep. I saw... Right by where we got the first aid kit, I saw a uh, trap door on the floor. So I think we need to go down is the problem. Med kit. Down it the looks hole. like I need some sort of lifting handle to get it. Oh, I know what we need. The wooden handle. Come on, gotta go. Quick. Quickly, man. Quickly. <gasps> Ow! Shit! Ow! That happens. Shit. 
pretty sure he's going to notice us down here. Whoever's down there, you can rock. What, he can't see us from here? At least he didn't know who we were. That's something, I guess. Jeez. No comment on our horrific collapsing platform? Nothing of interest here. Assorted foodstuffs. Nothing useful. That kit? Nope, nothing of interest. Uh, anything on the higher shelf, maybe? The storage area is clutter free and well organized. What the? I was trying to get to the upper shelf, but hell, that works. Assorted foodstuffs. Nothing useful. Ooh, the book. It looks like a diary. It's gotta have some clues. Yeah, we're never getting back out of here that way again. All right, let's see what's in our diary. Oh, wow, we have two things? Wait, do I have more diary entries on? I do. 1916 to 1921, missing entries. I'm completely unable to recall what led to my confine in the Arkham Asylum or what happened to the six years between my two visits there. They tell me I had some kind of personality change that night in Boston. They watched me for a while, decided I wasn't dangerous, and let me go. After six years, I switched back, just as mysteriously. They admitted me again, found nothing wrong, and here I am. Among the personal effects they returned to me is a leather-bound journal. Perhaps it'll tell me what I've forgotten. Looking through the journal, all I can find is my life as a police detective. There's no hint of any illness or mental strain, or anything else that could explain my change of personality, or the equally sudden recovery that still baffles my doctors. However, a number of pages has been torn from the journal. Who did it? Or why? can't tell. Did I destroy them myself to suppress some horrific memory? Or did the asylum staff judge their contents detrimental to my treatment? Why was part of my life erased? What is it I can't remember, and who wants it to stay forgotten? Is it a precaution to protect my sanity, or a key to something I need? Alright, back to the evidence. Arkham Advisor, 6 February 1922. Grocery store robbed. Manager missing. Thieves have robbed the first... Oh, wait. Didn't I read this? Wait, no, I didn't. Thieves have robbed the gro first national grocery store in Innsmouth. Breaking down the door and forcing open the cash register, the newly appointed manager, Mr. Brian Burnham, has been missing since shortly before the robbery. This is a very disturbing turn of events, says Mr. Arthur Anderson, the first national regional manager from his Arkham office. This branch was only recently opened, and the first national grocery had high hopes for its success, given the general lack of modern stores and amenity in Innsmouth. The robbery is a definite setback, and more worrying still is the fact that the branch matter manager remains unaccounted for. Innsmouth authorities could not be reached for comment. Diary of Brian Burnham. Oh, so it's Brian's diary. Well, I agree with the locals for one thing. I should be I shouldn't be stuck in this miserable excuse for a town. I can see why nobody comes here, that's for sure. Another slow day at the store. At first I thought people were staying away because the first national isn't local. But I haven't seen anyone go in any of the other stores either. Come to that, I haven't seen the other stores open for business. This place is deader than dead. Still, it won't be long before I'm out of here. Before we're both out of here. She's the one good thing about Ensmith. We'll bust open the old man wave safe, take a car, and then it's New York City. Bright lights, nightlife, everything. I'll show her all of it. So you were planning to rob the store, but did you actually do it before whatever went down, or did something go down? Yeah, so now we have our supplies. We have two of everything and four bandages, and I think that's... You get one of everything and two bandages in every single med kit. A bottle of bootleg rum. Tasty. Oh, can I get over the... Thank you. The cellar's filled with human remains. That doesn't seem normal. Oh, we're in the photograph room that we saw, the dark room. What the hell? Various chemicals and apparatus for developing photographs. Old photos of Innsmouth. Most of them have faded beyond recognition. Oh, nothing to say about the camera. The hell happened here, man? My personal thanks to each and every one of you for tuning in. You all are awesome viewers. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch my video. It means a lot to me and I do hope you enjoy them. So you all take care of yourselves. If you want to see more of me, queue up a video on the list or stay tuned for more. Feel free to leave a comment below and please remember to tag that like button if you enjoyed the video. In the meantime, fare thee well, everyone.